I'm editing the video right now from yesterday and what I've just experienced is really annoying me. But just listen and maybe you know what I mean. Can you hear this wind blowing? I mean, yesterday it wasn't windy at all and we are just walking by the pier. So the microphone seems to be broken. I have it now for just two months. Ugh, come on, all the audio here on the boat is just like... Say bye bye hotel room. Bye bye hotel room. Bye bye, hop and cup. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Today we're going to Phuket. Which was not planned. That was not our plan, but we're going to Phuket. But first, we have to get a coffee at our most traveled place. Somebody come! Yes, we're leaving today. But we need a coffee first. Nice trip. Thank you, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, thank you very much. Bye. Bye. I mean, we had to get a coffee from her. So friendly people. We started with the coffee from her. Oh yeah, now. right. Yeah, we yeah. arrived. We arrived with coffee from her and we leaving. The coffee from her. Okay. Now going to the pier. Oh yeah, eleven here. Okay. Cup and cup. Bye bye. Bye cup. So our plan was to go by ferry back to Krabi and fly from there to Kusamui. But we now changed our plan because the ferry here also goes directly to Phuket. So we're now going by ferry to Phuket for a couple of days. We haven't booked an accommodation yet. So just like we arrived here in Kopipi and uh, we have to look for a new accommodation in Phuket and from then on we're flying to Koh Samui. I mean that's the plan, that's a rough idea. Change of plans still possible but that's it for now. Right? What's up? <laughs> so carrying the backpacks, the temperature approximately about 35 degrees yeah, it's a little bit exhausting. You really forgot it or what? Did you get a ticket? No? Yeah. Why? What? This is, ah, this is our ticket or what? Yeah. This sticker here on my chest? So we were a little bit afraid because we don't have a ticket anymore and in this ticket we booked for the ferry we also included the transfer from the pier to the area where we want to stay. And they got the ticket, they took it from us, and we got the sticker. Really? This is the ticket for the transfer? Huh. Okay. Good to know. We're leaving. Uh, thank you, BB Island, for having us. It was great. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. Just filming. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, thank you for having us. It was a great time. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place. Which I didn't before, 
so it was good it was good that I took advantage of that time I had on the boat and now we have to find the bus or the minivan I don't know to the Patong beach I guess this way I don't know Bei Patong, Patong. Dein Aufkleber. Yeah, I know, I know, Patong. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Is it you? Yeah. No, we're driving now to the Patong Beach, which is good. That's our direction. I mean, we don't have a hotel yet, but we told him that he should drop us off there. We're gonna check there and ask for a room. Hope it's not too expensive. Enjoy your trip! <laughs> and we are in Phuket. We just met an awesome couple from Australia in the van. So we had a 30 minute drive, which just felt like 2 minute drive. And we're now going to the first hotel we found online. It's called the Crystal Beach. And I'm checking if they got a room, if they got a room free and how much it costs. Uh, so we would like to ask you if you got a room free. And how much the prices? We didn't uh, have booked anything yet. Uh, we, uh, how many nights you stay? We don't know. Okay. <laughs> Four nights, five nights, six nights. We have yeah. swimming pool in the rooftop. Ah, okay. Oh. Ah, yeah. Roof, floor pool. Okay. Hello. Ah, okay. So Fabienne checked in total three hotels online. That was the first one. She showed us around, she was really helpful. She was also really friendly, like all the people here in Thailand. And they even got a rooftop pool, which was really cool because you could see the beach from up there. But we didn't like it, I don't know. I mean, it was a little bit like PB Island. It was a nice hotel, they were very friendly, but... Hmm. So, now checking out the second hotel, which is called Tony Resort. And which is only a two minute walk this way. Tony Resort. That's it. Ah, here. We are now going to the third hotel. Fabian checked online. And we just hope that he likes this one. So fingers crossed. Maya Jar. Hello. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, that's beautiful. So there's the beach over there. But it's not a lot going on here, honey, in this hotel era. The other hotel opposite uh, Bangla Road, there will be a lot of people there usually. Because that okay. district, a lot of people like to go there, drink, party. So that hotel wasn't our type era. Uh, we just checked for another one, days in by Windham which is in the complete opposite direction we just walked. So now it's a 50 minute walk this way. So it's the last, this is really the last chance. And if not, then I would say we go to a restaurant and eat something because I'm really hungry. You? Okay, last hotel. I just checked Google Live View for the first time. That's crazy, you can see the street where you're walking and you can see the map at the same time, crazy. So Hi. Hi. Uh, we got two questions. The first one, did you get a room free? Yeah. Perfect. And the price? <laughs> and the price is 900 baht with our breakfast. Uh, could we maybe see the room first? Certainly. Yeah? Yeah. So we now compare the prices on Agoda, on Booking and also on Fabien's phone because on the PP Island Fabien was able to book it cheaper. So it's approximately six euros, 20 euros, 20 euros per night, right? 20 euros. That is okay. It is almost 4 p.m. and Fabien is just about to book the hotel for 20 euros per night. The gym is included, which is a quite a big deal because I really want to work out again and it's close to the city center and the R3 hotels 
where same in price but a little bit far away and had no gym. Right? And we got a pool here as well. Mm -hmm. And we got a pool. Still sitting here and waiting for Fokian. But it took so long. Oh, Honey. I'm so hungry and tired. <sighs> so we got finally our room. It took a while now, but we got it. That's not working, honey. Mm. <laughs> Is this Ausrichtige? Room. I can't read it. 10? Yeah, 410. What is this? It is saying 410. Maybe the key card is not activated. Uh, sorry? Oh, we can't enter the room. Number room? You are? Number room? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Huh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. just wants to get to the room because she is really tired, hungry. Honey, what else? Schmerzen. She has headache. Me, uh, Shen, uh, love you. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Ah, up and up. Thank you. Oh. Honey, we finally made it onto our hotel room. How are you feeling? Good, I don't know. How are you feeling? Schlecht. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> oh my god. So it was really exhausting. It is already half past four. We are hungry. We are tired. And we both got headache. So I would say it's time for a coffee to beat the headache, to beat their tiredness, level of tiredness, and we need to get something to eat. But I got one question, maybe one of you can answer that question. We asked for the price and he told us that it's the price 2700 baht for three nights. We checked it online and online we found it for 2100 baht. So 600 baht less compared to what he has offered us. And then we, then we asked him if he can maybe do the price like what we found online and he told us no that's not possible so the only price he could offer us was 2700 baht and he told us then to just book it online for 2100 baht but what i don't get and i'm asking keep asking myself all the time and Fabian as well why don't they do accept the lower price and keep all of the money i mean we could have paid cash and in this case now, they have to pay a fee to Agoda and to Booking, I guess. And this is, in the end, definitely less than 2,100 baht. I don't get it. I mean, does any one of you maybe know why it's that, that they don't accept the price what is online written? I mean, in this case now, they just pay even more in the end and get less from our money. Okay, with that being said, um, I'm not quite thirsty anymore, I still got a headache, I'm quite hungry, we are super tired, we're now gonna go and get something to eat, and I would say right afterwards we'll fall into our bed. So, I, I don't know... We gehen right off diese Parton Road, hallo, hat es Samstag? So, I don't know if there is something vlog worthy anymore, so I'm just ending the vlog right now. Maybe I will put some clips in the outro. I don't know. But anyway, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. We are right now on a very famous Bangla road. And right now, right here, there is no corona. So many people here.